Welcome families, this is Mrs. Mona and I wanted to show you kind of the three different strategies that we have been teaching our students with um, subtraction this past week. So in the homework you will be seeing them doing problems about um, subtraction with regrouping. What does that mean? So regrouping is whenever you have to, back in the old day, borrow from your neighbor because you didn't have enough because let's say the 8 is smaller than the 9 and so it's um, you have to go to next door to add, but because that is a develop me, develop, developmentally um, hard concept for our second grade students, we teach them um, the concrete method and then we move on using number lines and different um, methods. So the first strategy is using place value blocks. Now your kids have already practiced doing this, drawing them out. I wanted to show you the actual blocks so you know what they're drawing and then I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever it's drawn as well. And I'm also going to show you on a number line going up and on a number line going down. So here we go. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. So if we have 78 minus 29, we have 7 tens, and these are 10 blocks because there's 10 little ones glued together, and I have to count these by counting by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then I have 8 ones blocks. So if I was going to subtract this, I could start with, I have two options. I could start with the tens or I could start with the ones. Either way, it doesn't matter using this strategy. The old strategy of borrowing from your neighbor, it does, order does matter, but in this one it doesn't. So I'm going to start with the tens because I like counting by tens. They're friendly numbers. So I'm going to take 10 and 20 off my board. I've already subtracted 20, so I'm going to put a check. Now I'm going to subtract 9. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh-oh, I've subtracted 8, but I haven't subtracted 9. So what I need to do is I need to change one of these into 10 ones. So I'm going to do an exact trade. 2, 4, Eight, ten, and I can trade it out. So because I traded them, now I can take away one more, and I've subtracted twenty-nine. So my answer, oopsie, my check mark of yes having nine off. My answer is going to be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty-nine. Okay, so that's the first strategy. I'm going to erase this and start with our next strategy, minus 29. So that's the first way students will do it, but they will actually have to draw it because they don't carry these um, blocks with them. So I'm going to draw 78 in purple by drawing blocks. This is the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then I need eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now this time instead of starting with the tens, I'm gonna start with the ones. So what I teach my class when, I, um, when we're subtracting, we put X's. When we're regrouping, we slash. So I'm gonna use another color so you can see. So I'm gonna subtract nine. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I still need one more. So I'm going to slash this and turn it into ten ones. The exact same process I just did with the blocks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So now I can subtract one more. And now I have my answer of the ones. I'm able to subtract now the tens. Ten, twenty. Okay, and my answer is still 49. Four tens and nine ones. I'm sorry about the glare. That's what it looks like. Okay, that's strategy number two of this video. Strategy number three. Another way that our kids 
are potentially doing this problem is by using a number line because subtraction on a number line, subtraction is just the distance between numbers. So on a number line, you have two options. No matter which option you do, um, you will start with putting 29 on the number line at the bottom and you'll put 78 on the other side. Okay, now we want our students to understand that adding from 29 up to 78 is the same as subtracting 20 from 78 down to 29. The distance is still the same. The method you do doesn't matter. So we start off by writing the tens that are closest to each of this, these numbers. The 10 that's closest to 29 is 30. It ends in zero, so it's a 10 number. The 10 that's closest to this number is going to be 70. Now, technically it's closest to 80, but we're moving down, so um, we don't need to confuse our poor kids. So from here to here, if I was going backwards, and subtracting, I would do minus eight because I'm working down. If I go from 70 to 30, I need to know that there's 60, 50, 40, then 30. So I am jumping 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 times. We don't want to waste time by writing every single number in between. Then what we do is from 30 to 29, that's minus 1. The answer to this problem, I'm going to find it by adding up these numbers. So 40 plus 1 is 41, plus 8 more, that's 9. 49. Each time I should be getting the same answer. But now I can do the same problem but work this way. And I could work with different numbers in this number line. It depends on what your child is used to and fluent, fluid doing, flexible doing. So I could have 29 and I could jump by tens up to 69, which is the closest 10 available to me. So if I did 39, 49, 59, 69, this is 10, 20, 30, 40. I could jump 40 times, okay, and get to 69. And then from, this is adding 40. And then I could figure out, okay, well, um, in my brain, it's hard to do 69 up to 78, my second grade brain. So I know that that's close to 70. So from here to here is plus one, plus 70 plus 8 equals 78. So I still have 40 plus 1 plus 8. This is still an acceptable strategy because they're adding up and it's finding the distance between still and I still got 49. So that's the last strategy. Hope that will help you as you're working on the homework with your students throughout this week. Thank you so much.